Hey everyone, so today I want to take a look at this question here. It says, find the coordinates of the point of intersection of the tangents to the graph of y equals x squared at the points at which it meets the line with the equation y equals x plus 2. So the first thing we need to do with this kind of problem here is figure out what points we're going to be using in this case. And well, we know the points are going to be where this equation meets this equation here. So I'm going to go ahead and take the y equals x squared and the y equals x plus 2 and set them equal to each other. So I'm going to go ahead and put that x squared in over here. So we get x squared equals x plus 2. And then I'm going to bring everything over to this side. I'm going to minus over the x, minus over the 2, minus x, minus 2. So we'll end up with x squared minus x minus 2 equals, and then this side will reduce to 0. So I'm going to go ahead and factor this down using am here. So two numbers that add to negative 1 multiplied at negative 2, which would be negative 2 and a positive 1. And then if I solve that here, we'll get that x is 2 and x is negative 1. And then all I need to do to get the y values is put them back into either equation there. So I'll look at this right one here. And if I put it back in negative 1, negative 1 plus 2 would simply be 1. And for 2 there, if I put 2 in, 2 plus 2 would be 4. Okay, so we have our two points. We have the point 2, 4 and negative 1, 1. So those are the points that we care about here. Now, the directions want to know, find the coordinates of the point of intersection of the tangents to the graph y equals x squared at those points. Okay, so we're doing the tangent to the graph y equals x squared. So in order to get the tangent here, we need to go ahead and do the derivative to get the slope of the line tangent to the curve. So if I take the derivative of this, that would simply be 2x. All right, uh, now that we have our 2x there, we need to figure out that slope for both those points. So let's start with 2, 4 here. So the slope then is going to be 2 times, and I'm going to go ahead and take that 2 and substitute it in for x here, 2 times 2. So the slope of this line is going to be 4. And then I want to get the equation. Well, an equation is in the form of y equals mx plus b for a tangent line. It has to be a straight line. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and substitute back in my 4. And I'm going to substitute it back in the point 2, 4. So the y value is 4. The slope was 4. The x value here is 2. And I'm trying to solve for b. So we get 4 equals 8 plus b. Subtract off the 8. And we simply get that um, b is negative 4. Okay. So b is negative 4, which means our first equation, so first tangent equation, is y equals the slope 4x and then the b value, minus 4. So there's our first tangent equation. Now let's get the second tangent equation using the point negative 1, 1. So that we use the point 2, 4. Now we're going to use negative 1, 1. So again, same thing. We're going to take our derivative, which is 2x here. And now we need the slope of the line at the point negative 1, 1. So I'm going to put in my negative 1 here. So we wind up with the slope is negative 2. So again, I want to find my equation. So I'm going to put that into the mx plus b. So there's my slope. And now I substitute in the point negative 1, 1. So we get 1 equals negative 2 times negative 1 plus b, or 1 equals 2 plus b, minus off 2, minus off 2, we wind up with b is negative 1. Okay, so my second tangent equation here, second tangent equation, is going to be y equals negative 2x minus 1. All right, so I have my two equations here. Now, look back at what the question said. The question wanted to know, 
find the coordinates of the point of intersection of the tangents. So now I need to find where the point of intersection is with my two tangents over here. So to find the point of intersection, again, I'm going to set those two equations equal. I want to know where they share the same point. So I'm going to take 4x minus 4 and set it equal to negative 2x minus 1. So I'll just simply add over 2x, add over 2x, and we'll get 6x. And I'm going to add over the 4 at the same time here, add over the 4. Bring down the equal sign, negative 1 plus 4 would be 3. Divide by 6, divide by 6, and we wind up with x is 1 half. And then again, I could take that 1 half and put it back into either equation here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put it into this first one here and say, okay, half of 4 is 2, and then 2 minus 4 would be negative 2. So the point of intersection of the two tangents here is 1 half comma negative 2. And that would be our answer for this case. Now I do want to show you kind of what's going on here um, so you can visually see this. So let me pull up a graph in this case. Okay, so let's take a look at the graph y equals x squared and y equals x plus 2. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and graph these here. Let's try this out again. Okay, and it's going to look something like this. So the original points of intersection we found were that negative 1, 1 and the 2, comma, 4 there. But I wanted to figure out what the intersection of the tangents would be at those points. So we found that to be um, 1 half negative 2. And as you can see, if I drew the tangents here to the to the, the line y equals x squared at those points, they would surely intersect at the point uh, 1 half negative 2. All right, hope that helps. If you have more questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks.